thank you for the completion of these nursing and health science classes and for giving us the opportunity, short though it may have been, to play a part in the lives of our students and our new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and your love as we shared in this important work. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us allow them to truly be the best medical professionals they can be. 
May what we have learned from them enable us to be the best educators that we can be. Please help them to use all that they have learned here to make the world a better place, to serve others in true solidarity and kinship, and to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good in humanity. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have. And we ask you to grant them solace and strength, Lord. We know that through you, all things are possible. Finally, Father God, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to touch their hearts and lives and for the joy and honor of having them touch ours. Though they are leaving our campus, we know that they will always be with us as part of our Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College family. And we ask that the bonds that have been created here remain strong despite the distances that many of them may travel in their careers. Keep them safe, keep them honorable, and keep them always searching for chances to enhance their education and become the best that they can possibly be. We ask all this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Gates. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College, I'd like to welcome you all to the graduation exercises of the class of spring summer 2023. There's several people that make what happens at this institution impactful for the lives of our students, and I'm going to recognize. Two of those folks that are here with us this afternoon. Mr. Landy Weathers, who serves as chair of the OC Tech Commission, and Mr. John Schuler, who's a member, but also serves as the former chair of the Fire Commission. I often refer to OC Tech as the, the first stop on the road to the American dream. It's the place where students begin their journey towards creating their own generational wealth and opportunities for advancing. You're setting high expectations for future generations, and I want to thank today's graduates for allowing us to be a part of it. <coughs> Throughout our students' time at OC Tech, many of our students are the first in their families to graduate college. Some are raising children, and I think if I, if I vision serves me correctly, some will soon be raising a child. Some are balancing the demands of work, school, some are military veterans, and others are here because they desire to start a second career. And I couldn't be proud of um, Today's commencement, which means the beginning, and our graduates are well on their way to successful careers and a great life for themselves and their families. You all are shining examples of what success looks like. I referenced the American dream early in my comments, and the Oxford English Dictionary defines it as the idea that every citizen of the U.S. should have an equal opportunity to achieve success and prosperity through hard work, determination, and initiative. <laughs> You've done that, but you haven't done it alone. And so I first want to thank the families of our graduates for joining us here today and for playing a significant role in getting our students to this point. I feel like you just did this either last night or this afternoon. So maybe I should say welcome back. I'd also like to recognize and thank our faculty who play a vital role in the success of our students at the college and who help these graduates reach their goals. I am very proud of our dedicated faculty and would ask that they stand now and be right. Our dedicated staff also play an important role in supporting our faculty and students. And for those that are in the audience, I'd like to them to stand and recognize them. Okay, standing already this way. 
Carrie Powell serves as the Chief Nursing Officer of the Medical University of South Carolina in Orangeburg. She remains proud to call herself a nurse after 23 years. Carrie joined the former Regional Medical Center, now the Medical University of South Carolina, after four years as the CNO Chief Nursing Officer at the Somerville Medical Center in Somerville, South Carolina. Carrie returned to her hometown Somerville from Kaiser Permanente in Napa, California. She had the privilege of opening the newest Kaiser Permanente in Northern California, where she was progressively promoted to multiple executive leadership roles. Carrie has served as the chief nurse in Orangeburg for the last two years, leading to improved patient quality, nurse engagement, and community integration. Carrie obtained her baccalaureate degree in nursing from Charleston Southern University and a master's degree in nursing from the University of Phoenix, Sacramento. Carrie is a member of the American College of Healthcare Executives, a member of the American Nurses Association, a member and state executive representative for the American Organization of Nurses Executives, serves on the board at the Dorchester Children's Advocacy Center, serves on the advisory board for the High School for Health Professions in Orangeburg. Carrie serves as executive leader on the South Carolina State Board of Nursing. Carrie lives her mission of caring for nurses, patients, and community daily, and is honored to serve Orangeburg and surrounding counties. Please extend a warm OC Tech welcome to Carrie Powell. Thank you, Dr. Tillman. So, good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, and distinguished guests and graduates. My name is Carrie Powell, and I serve as the Chief Nurse of NUSC here in Orangeburg. And it is an honor to be here today to be part of your special day. So as I look out in the crowd, I can't help but notice one trait that brings us all together today. I see a trait that I see, see every day when I work with my team. It's a trait that saves lives every second around the world. And as I look at you today, I see an unwavering dedication a commitment to bettering your life, your family's life, and the lives of your entire community. Throughout your rigorous academic journey, you all have not only faced cha challenges of mastering your medical knowledge and clinical skills, but so many of you have done this while shouldering the responsibilities of supporting and nurturing your own families, a job that does not come with a curriculum, a GPA, or a how-to guide. You've chosen to play the role of a caregiver both personally and professionally. You juggle study sessions with late night feeling feedings, clinical rotations, having served dinner already, and have sacrificed so, sacrificed so much of your own rest to endure the well being of those who depend on you. Each and every one of you, whether you're a parent or not, are a true testament to the passion for healthcare and have not only persevered but excelled in your studies to become pillars of strength that are needed in our community. Today, as you enter the next chapter of your life, you carry not just the knowledge of clinical competencies, but resilience, compassion, and determination that comes from being dedicated caregivers. It is crucial that we reflect on the profound importance of those who have been chosen for this profession in the healthcare industry. Because right now, the healthcare industry is facing a critical need all around us. And those of you who are willing to dedicate your lives to the care of others are really calling above your own. By choosing to become nurses and allied health professionals, we have not only embraced a rewarding and fulfilling career path, but have also answered the call to addressing the pressing healthcare needs in our community. Needs that are evident in most places like Orangeburg. And I'll share with you, um, I came to Orangeburg a little over two years ago and came out of a for-profit environment. And really, my time here has just been a blessing. And I'll share with you, those of you who do take the course of staying in Orangeburg, you really are caring for a community. And, and as a nurse and, and having been in a for-profit, I started thinking, you know, I'm really tired of making stockholders money. And in this environment, you have the opportunity to make a difference. 
to have a legacy and to care for those who live next to you and close to you in a very, very large amount of space. So like I shared, this, this hospital next door serves the largest landmass in the state of 2,400 square miles. So it's a big job and we are very fortunate to have you guys here to help us do it. <coughs> They say that it takes a village to raise a child, and I'm certain that it took a village to have all of you here today. I know there are many folks that you would like to thank, and many of them are sitting with you here today. I always tell my children to thank God first, and then to meet people where they're at. And that is all you can do. The Lord will take care of the rest. So as you leave this institution and move forward with a deep sense of responsibility and commitment to continue meeting the challenges head on, with courage, accountability, and the commitment that led you to walk across this stage today. Together, we have the power to make a significant difference, to alleviate suffering, and to bring hope and healing to those in need. Congratulations, graduates. Let this embrace the noble profession with pride and purpose, knowing that our dedication is now more crucial than ever. Let us leave a legacy of care that resonates far behind the confident lines of these walls and into the very heart of the communities we serve. Again, congratulations, and I get, hope you guys have a fortunate and blessed career post today. Thank you. Before we begin the awarding and conferring of the degree, I would like to ask all family and friends of the graduates to assist us in making this moment special for each of our graduates, to recognize and honor each of our graduates individually and maintain order during the ceremony. We respectfully request that you hold your applause and expressions of joy until all graduates have received their award and returned to their seats. At this time, OC Tech recognizes various cores to honor their achievements. Those graduates wearing the gold soles and whose names are marked in the program with the shield are members of our Academic Honor Society, Phi Theta Kappa. Phi Theta Kappa is the only international honor society that recognizes and encourages two-year college <laughs> institution scholarship. Member membership is by invitation only and is extended to students who have completed 12 semester credit hours in an associate degree or university transfer course, have maintained a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.5, have established academic excellence as judged by the faculty, and possess recognized qualities of citizenship. Graduates wearing red cord are part of the red cord honors program sponsored by the Red Cross. It is designed to recognize students who have chosen to participate <coughs> in the life-saving act of donating blood. Graduates wearing light blue cords are our Healthcare Heroes graduates, sponsored by the Lower Savannah Council of Governments. The program is designed to address the shortage of EMTs, CNAs, and PCTs in our region by providing assistance to aspiring healthcare workers. At <coughs> this time, graduates, we are ready for the conferring of the degrees. <clears throat> We're now ready for the event that marks the purpose of our gathering this afternoon, the conferring of degrees. The Vice President of Student Services will call each graduate's name Dr. Sandra Davis. <laughs> We're pleased to recognize the achievements of all of our graduates. As the students come forward, please remember Mrs. Barry's request that you withhold your applause so that we might honor each of our graduates individually. You're welcome to celebrate when all graduates have received their awards. For the graduating class of summer 2023, please stand. Mr. Chairman, the following students have completed the course of study as prescribed by the faculty and the area commission in their respective certificate, diploma, and associate degree curriculum. 
Graduates, you may now be seated. It's weird, I know. Trust me. Trust the process. The ushers will direct you to come forward to receive your respective degrees, diplomas, and certificates from Orangeburg Capital and Technical College. Dr. Davis will now come forward to read the names of the graduates who will be awarded their degrees. Graduates, in the first row, please come forward to receive your award from Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. The following students are receiving an associate degree or diploma in the Health Sciences Division. Caitlin Klein. <coughs> Caitlin Odom. Destiny Bostic. Autumn Brightwell, honor graduate. Kinsley Canard, honor graduate. Monica Salcedo. Anna Smith. Jenna Sullivan. Haley Thomas, honor graduate. Danielle. Brooke Yeager, honor graduate. Amaya Benjamin. Alexis Coulter. Anaya Kramer. Kaylin Daniels. <laughs> Tina Davenport. Tariana Felder. Jatavia Floyd. Antoinique Middleton. Hannah Reed. Jessica Weeks. Kimberly Whalen. Linda Wild. The following students are receiving an associate degree or diploma in the nursing division. Teresa Austin, honor graduate.
Tammy Baker. Zoe Bennett. Christine Brown. Aminata Campbell. Pamela Charles. Elizabeth Fairchild. Yeah. <laughs> Tayana Gaither, honor graduate. Brianna Graham, honor graduate. Amelia Hewitt. Altramese Ori. Lonnie Javier. Allison Page Judy. <coughs> Maylin McGuffey. Megan Mott. Connor Morish, honor graduate. Charlotte Hughes. Holly Renew. Tammy Cersei, honor graduate. <laughs> Teresa Schuler. <laughs> Madison Summers. <laughs> Keontae Thompson. Yamala Tobair Claire <laughs> Shelly Underwood Lanaya Washington <laughs> Bailey Williams Jordan Michelle Lessing Williams. Charles Yoakum. <coughs> Janiki Blackwell. <coughs> Destiny Cole. Nancy Contreras. <coughs> Amanda Lynn Cotton. Mackenzie Itson.
Brianna Ford. Alasia Frederick. <coughs> Nicole Gibbon. Abigail Helms. Catherine. Shania Jackson. Monet Gerino. Deandra McCoy, honor graduate. Natia Milligan. Courtney Owens, honor graduate. Shantae Stroman. Yes, Shamira Warren. <coughs> Alexiana Young.